Okay guys, we're here today. We're trying to show you how to repair or how to change the paint color on your Rodell uh, Speed Flex. So today we are with Carter. Uh, as Coach said, we can't come to practice um, with a red helmet. And our team colors, um, we have to go with matte black. So what we're here doing, uh, we we're gonna get this thing matte black from from cherry red, Gilbert red, championship 2019 to uh, we're gonna get this thing matte black. And uh, we're gonna go over the things we, we're using to get this thing squared away. First thing you're gonna need to do, I'll, we're gonna, we'll leave the um, link in the bio. <laughs> All right, in this description. Or you guys can just reach out to us because we're mainly making this video for you guys. Uh, we know season is coming up. But we went on to Walmart and got us some sanding sponges. And with the sanding sponges, because um, it works on woods and all different kind of metals, we got the one with two, where you have the um, fine, medium coarse, or whatnot. So it can take out those scratches if your son um, scratched your helmet a lot and you want a good flat surface, you don't want um, those cuts in there because when you paint it, um, it'll come up the other color. So we're just kind of priming the surface right now. And what you will need, you need your, um, your Phillips screwdriver and we have a flathead. So right now we're just gonna come to, because we're gonna have to end up taking off all of these different parts, taking off the face mask and so we can get all the little whatnots to get it colored. So you guys just hang tough. Um, like I say, you're gonna need this, and we'll reveal, we'll show you the the um, paint as well. But we're gonna go ahead and pause it right here and get to working. All right, guys, I wanted to slow it down for a second to just give you a tip. Um, as you take out these screws here, you have a back part that's coming out. So you may want to go ahead and just pair the same screw with the same um, washer or back drive nut. It's a long nut, basically what it is. Just pair it up so when when everything's loose, you won't have everything mixed up. So that was just a tidbit. Uh, and I'm just going through the different screws. Um, that bottom one, it will go counterclockwise. This one will be, um, well, all of them left, lefty loosey, but it was just something different. It had a different spin on there. And this this video is not just for um, your Rydell or whatnot, but um, you can use it on different ones. But we're gonna get back to it and just bear with us. All right, guys, um, we got down to this part where you're taking off because on the speed, you have the um, good quick release um, chin scrap thingy and you look at it and there's no way to take it off. Don't don't panic because on the bottom, on the back end, there's a washer that's on the inside. It looks like this. A wash on the inside that looks like this and all it's doing is connecting to the outside and keep it in place wash your nut thingy and all you have to do is get to the inside and, and spin it and watch what happens Ooh. falls right out and just put it I put everything back together so it can be easily uh, you won't strip any nuts everything's going right back into place so right now we almost down to the to everything to what we need to paint we're gonna take out the cushion and everything because we're going with a black coloring so I really don't mind it's turning black it's being gray black right there but um, we do want this traditional red and white I'll check with coach and we'll make another video if um, we need to get this black or something or we'll purchase a black um, 
I don't know what this part is called. However, this is, yeah, we're getting this thing reconditioned and good. So just bear with us. We're gonna speed this thing up. And if you have any questions, do leave them in the comments or reach out to us at practice. And we're not, we're not saying it's gonna be a perfect, we're not the pros, but we, we're trying to give a little guidance, you know? And um, so if you see it, in, hopefully we don't have any red at practice. And so, but we're gonna um, keep you updated throughout the season. But uh, that's enough talking. We're gonna get back, we're gonna fast forward this thing and keep it rolling. I'll show you the supplies that you're gonna need in a few seconds, alrighty. All right, guys, um, slowing it down a little bit as you're gonna run into three screws on the back where you can use a, a, a rather large um, um, flathead or you can use a Phillips, but these are connecting your inner, inner material in there. So I'm gonna keep these in order the way they um, came out. So I know this is the middle one. No, that's the bottom one. I know this is the top one. I'll put it right here. And so this will help us with removing the insides. So we're not gonna pull it too hard because we may have some on the side, in which I do have some on the side right there. One on the left ear and one on the right ear that's holding in our helmet cushion. So we're gonna take these out because you have we're gonna count, we're gonna give you a count as to how many of them there are. And it looks like you have about five of them. Just hold tight. All right, that's out, son, that's out. So pull it out. And we just put them in the place of the helmet. All right. So when, they, when we take it out, when we put it back in, everything will fit perfectly. It'll be in its original spot versus, you know, just putting it in a regular helmet. It's out, son. And if it gets a little caught, you can put your finger through there and voila, it comes out. So we're gonna put this on the on the uh, this side because it came out this. So now we'll try to pull, go ahead and try to pull the padding out. Okay, so that's, hold on, hold on. And you kind of just gently Figure out what's going on. You have Velcro and all of that stuff. But when you're pulling it out, at least see how the configuration is. So when you put it back in there, you won't have the front side and the back side and the back side and the front side. And um, so, and it actually, so you won't panic guys. And it, it actually has the, the um, what side it goes on here. So it has left, right, and these are good cushions or whatnot, or they may be replaced. If they need to be replaced, they do have a model number on there. And I'm sure you can go to the Rodell the head site, website, excuse me, and get those materials you need. Because as you see, this is out. We're out. Uh, we have air fitting. We're gonna clean this, wash it down a little bit. And I think this is machine wash. We'll let you know later on how that goes. So we have the this core out keep everything in the video and as you can see this is the frontal lobe protection and you really want to make certain you this is a small it shows you a side don't damage this so we're gonna flip it around and see see what goes where and that's a washer and up under the bottom how do you get this off there's a Phillips screw I'm gonna get closer, hold on, before he takes it out. To remove this, there's a Phillips screw. Two Phillips screws you gotta have to get out of there. All right. You guys, I'm uh, just giving you a little tidbit. You want to make sure you prime this thing out really good. I'm trying to take away any shininess or whatnot. So, because you want want it to be able to stick, that paint to be able to stick. And we're hitting this. Um, so um, when we do coat it with paint, the primer is just just right. Even though the paint we're using includes primer, we're doing our own priming just to you know touch all edges. 
Another tip, you when you want to paint, uh, when you have a helmet this color, you don't want red sticking out of your black. So you definitely want to get the inside of your helmet. Uh, we got the inside of the helmet, and we're not going to go into much detail on the inside of the helmet, but we will prime around the edges, you know, so, because that may be touched a little bit, you know, and we want to be consistent with the team, even though we're doing it for our time. Um, you definitely want to spray paint the inside. Can you flip it? Can you paint the inside? We're, it's not going to be the fine detail number one paint job inside of there because we're going to have our padding and stuff like that. But you do want to get a one coater or something on there just to, you know, just for um, cosmetics reasons. All right, we can flip it on back over. But yeah, we're about to, we set up a little towel that has bleach and we're going to get into the painting of this thing next. Right. Stay tuned. Now we're gonna get all the dust off of it. About to say sand dust, but it's not sand. So <laughs> we get the dust off of it and try to clean this thing. And we look like we have a matte red going over here because we knocked off all the gloss and the semi-gloss that was on there. Um, like I say, then again, I'm not the paint expert or nothing, but this was a nice shiny helmet. But uh, okay, I'm seeing spots where you can see it. You still right there? Okay, put it to the other side. And I see a potential area. See how it shines? I want to get that flat. Can you be still? See how that shines? I want to get rid of that because um, that means the paint's not going to stick if we have it glossy like that. So we're going to go over it again uh, with that primer and try to dull it out so we're ha having, we, we have no paint. We're just on plastic and what we're applying on there. So um, that's where we are. And another tip, remember the great things we had in on the helmet? We went ahead and took those out so we can have a have a um, cleaner finish and get these, these little edges a little bit closer because that's a high impact area with football. And if we didn't have the best coating right there, I didn't prime it. We had a we run into potential of having red paint right there, and we don't want to be paying mid season because I know he's going to be in the gridiron um, in action. But pay attention to the nuts this side goes in, and that side is your outside. The sides of the rivets go inside, that's your outside. So, your little donuts, there's two of them left and right. And, guys, if you need any, any help, you know, uh, reach out to us. We'll be glad to uh, take care of your helmet for you. Um, it could be a